Hello, Jungle Explorer here, and I bet you're wondering why I'm holding a wine bottle. Uh, well, interesting little story about wine bottles. I actually don't drink. Um, not that I have anything against drinking, I just really don't like alcohol. Tried it, just don't like it. So, anyways, but uh, you know, a lot of people do drink and they throw away these bottles, and you know, pretty much no use for them. But, uh, there is actually a use for them that you would not suspect. Um, when I was a little kid, um, we went to live in the jungles of Guatemala, and uh, there was a lot of little kids there that loved to swim in the rivers, and I always saw them diving out there in the rivers and then coming up, and, and most people back in those days, and yeah, dinosaurs were walking the earth, but uh, yeah, they... Uh, they were pretty hungry and the little kids were talking seven to ten thirteen year old kids they were out there swimming in the rivers all day long and picking something up and uh they were picking up wine bottles and i was like what in the world do they uh got wine bottles in the water for and so i went out there and was swimming with them and noticed that they had made a minnow trap out of a wine bottle and uh, so then I started looking for a wine bottle to make a minnow trap out of myself and uh, there wasn't a whole lot of wine bottles because all the other kids had them. So anyways, the, uh, this is, I'm gonna make, show you today how to make a minnow trap out of a wine bottle. Now, not every wine bottle can make a good minnow trap. In fact, what you're looking for is this right here. This nice deep indentation um, some wine, wine bottles are flat on the bottom, some have a little bit of an indentation. Uh, any kind of a little uh, concave, uh, you know, entry like that is good. I bought this particular one because uh, I was at Walmart, it was cheap, it was like seven bucks, and uh, it, it had a pretty good, I don't, over an inch indentation or in the bottle of, uh, in the bottom of the wine bottle. I don't know why they do that, but uh, you don't, you only really see that on wine bottles, so, uh, Anyways, it, it's there. And so what we're gonna do is we gotta make a hole in this right here. Now, if you have a, uh, a good maybe 3 8 inch or half inch real sharp masonry bit, you might try to drill that hole. Um, I don't have one and, and you know, those things are gonna be, uh, more, cost way more than the bottle. Uh, so uh, the, uh, let's, I'm gonna show you how I did it or how the little kids in Guatemala showed me how to do it. You take a, just a, a, a file, uh, because it's made out of hardened steel, and I'm gonna chip around the base here, right around here, until I, I knock that out. Now, obviously it's glass, so any mistake is gonna result in a damaged or cracked bottle. But if you have enough patience, um, then you can do this. And, and it's really just a matter of, of, of just chipping. You know, just, just barely enough. This is, going to be hard to chip out but I'm going to actually have to go with a small hole right here and then widen it out a little bit because it's uh this is just round in here it's not gotten a flat area so let's let me show you how to do this here so I'm just you got to find a good solid base find yourself a good patient spot this is going to take a long time so I'm going to speed this up once I get it started but I'm just going to start hmm, I'm having a hard time getting there we go got to find the right angle Once you start getting kind of a groove going, and I'm just I'm just twisting the bottle as I go around it. And I'm just hitting a nice solid impact. I'll eventually get to where I'm chipping it. Right now, I'm just going around in a circle. I'm just kind of showing you what I'm doing here. You don't want it. Oop, 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 went right through. Okay. That was not supposed to happen, but now I'm just gonna chip. I'm going to take advantage of that. Try and not to, This is very weak glass. Very, very weak. Aye. It's going to be a little bigger hole than I wanted. I wanted just a, a smaller hole. But a bigger hole means that minnows were able to get in there quicker. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to work on that a little bit. 
The reason you can use this as a minnow trap is because of this indentation, minnows will actually, once I put a hole here, the minnows will actually go in it. And once they come in the bottle, um, you put some food or something in there, then when they try to get out, minnows naturally will swim out. Now you gotta take all this stuff off so they think they can swim out. They'll swim up into this corner, they won't be able to get out. So I'm gonna continue working on this and um, I'm going for some smaller minnows. You wanna kinda make the hole the size of the minnow that you want. And normally, on, a bit, on other bottles that I've chipped out, you just kind of go around in a circle until it actually just the the piece falls out this is really i guess because it's a cheap bottle it has a pretty poor uh, very poor quality glass it just surprised me by by breaking way in front of what i thought but i'm trying to open this hole up here and it's not dead center and that's kind of disappointing a masonry bit may do a better job. I don't know. This is such bad glass that uh, it may go ahead and shatter, anyways. But it's it's a. Uh, I'm just opening it up to this side here because this is the side I want to go. That's about the size of the hole I want because I'm going for some pretty small minnows. If you're going for bigger fish, you open up a little bit, but. It's not too bad, even though it broke where I didn't want it to break. It's sort of kind of in the middle there. Now the, the minnows, they'll go around the bottle. They'll, they'll come in here and then they'll just go right down here. So I'm just opening it up a little bit so they'll be able to get in there. And I'm going to take this to the river and I'm going to show you how this works. So it's not turning out too bad. It's got a nice little hole there. Um, that's just a little bit bigger than the size of the minnow I'm going for, which is really good. I just want to kind of move it back, the hole back this way on the bottle. And kind of round it out a little bit. I mean, I'm being kind of finicky here, kind of a perfectionist. I like a round hole now, but I also don't want to shatter the bottle and it's not wanting to chip off just like I wanted it to there we go so as you can see it takes a little bit of finesse here to do this now I'm going to take the end of the file there and just kind of run it run it around in there kind of knock them sharp edges off and that's pretty good. That's that's about a uh, half inch hole. It's not dead center like I wanted it, but it's still going to work just fine. You know, we're not dealing with perfection here. And now I'm going to take these these uh, stickers off. I may have to heat heat it up to get the glue off here. Go ahead and put. Well, maybe they'll come off. I don't know. We'll see. bit of glue right there I'll clean that off later but I'm gonna I gotta make a cork for it now you don't want to use the actual cork that comes with it um, that's too too watertight you want actually to make a uh, just take a stick um, out of wood and just carve you a stick to go in the end you don't want it to be perfectly sealed you want actually kind of holes around the stick so that water can flow through because you want the water to flow in it and be able the flavor to flow out. If you seal this off, it's just like a bucket of water. You know, you can take a, a cup and put it in, full of water and put it in, in the tub and then pick it up and the water will stay in it because there's no way for the air to get in and, and it'll stay out. Or like when you're trying to pour gas out of these modern uh, gas cans that don't have a, a little flip air vent on the back, the gas won't hardly come out. Uh, so you need to have a, a stick that actually has ability for water to go past it so it allows the flavor to flow out the back end, um, increasing the, the likelihood that the fish are going to find the hole. So I'll just, just carve it out of a tree branch and make sure it's just not a real super tight fit, but tight enough that it doesn't fall out of the bottle, obviously. Um, 
and that's what we're going to do there. So let me get this off. I'll I'll put the the uh, I'll carve the the tree branch in there. I'll get the, go ahead and I'm going to go in and use it a blow dryer on this, heat it up a little bit because it's not one to come off. Um, and then uh, we'll uh, head down to the river. So that'll be the next place that you'll see us. Okay, so here we are down at the river. We've got this uh, the bottle all fixed up here. Got all the the uh, wrappers off of it. Just took a piece of, you know, just found a tree branch of about the right size. It has, you know, that's not real smooth. And uh, I'm here in this little creek. And it really works the best if you've got a little current. And here's a pool of water. And I'm just going to put this bottle out there in that current. And those minnows will sense the water going to go through. And they should come up right up here. Now I've got some uh, cheap fish food here, tropical flakes. I've, I've mixed in some other fish food, some floating and some sinking little pellets and stuff, but it's mostly just these uh, cheap tropical flakes. Something that minnows would like, so I'm just going to dump some of this down in here. Not a whole lot, because um, you want to be able to empty it out. You know, I've seen down in Guatemala, those minnows down there, they'd actually fill the bottle up to the point where they couldn't get any any more in it. But anyway, so I've got a little rope tied on here. You could just walk out there, but I don't want to get the water muddy. So what I'm going to do is just chunk this bottle right there and uh, let it fill up with water. Yeah, might be better to walk out into it. It'll, it'll clear up. I want to get this right in the middle of the the current there. And let's get back. And you can put it in deeper water if you wanted. Um, the current kind of turned it there a little bit. And they reposition it. Uh, I gotta get. Get it full of water here. Get that air bubble out of it. Uh, so it kind of floated because it had air in it. All right. That's why it turned. Okay. Now, normally it's in a lot deeper water, but. Uh, for the purpose of demonstrating this video. It's already got minnows in it. Boy, look at them go. Yep, they're already getting in it.
Okay, so I'm gonna go down here and check it out. Wow, look at it. Whoa. Yeah, I'll pick it up like this. And there you have it. Look at that. That there's a bunch of minnows. Rainbow shiners. Just a bunch of them. All right. That's great. Got about 30 or 40 right there. Just a few minutes. Actually, let me just put it down in here. And pull that out there. And, and it's easy to empty. Boom. Okay, so... Wow, man, it actually performed better than uh, I expected. Um, I uh, have never actually tried one of these uh, bottle traps in the U.S. before. I've used them in Central and South America in my travels, uh, simply because uh, they're such an effective trap. You saw it, man. I put it in the water, put a little fish food, and the minnows were on it. Um, they, the hole in the bottom here... Um, might have been just good. I'm going to open it up just a little bit more. When I did that underwater shot, I saw that a lot of them were hesitating going in. I mean, it's not that it didn't work really good. Uh, I think there were some bigger ones that probably could have got in. The minnows were just a little bit larger, so I'm going to go ahead and chip it out just a little bit more, kind of open it up. Uh, but it just you saw that it worked really good. Um, the one thing about it is that, that just... Uh, is really awesome is that when you go to empty it you just pull the cork out boom and and you don't have you're not out there you know with uh, those wire ones you're opening them up and clipping and and you're trying to get the fish out of the corners or dump and whatever this is so simple i mean you just pour it out boom you're ready to go uh, it's just really highly effective you can see on the video how once they got in they just kind of come over into the corner here and uh, you know it's hard for them to to swim they would have to swim right out the middle in order to get out there they just don't naturally do that so once they get in um you know they they're in there uh now one important thing you saw how the, when i finished chipping it out i, I kind of rounded it off um and kind of smoothed off because you saw in the video when i picked it up i put my finger in there because whenever you pick it up the water tends to pour out and that could actually, you could lose some. So you want to make sure that when you chip it out, you want to make sure that's dull so you're not going to cut your finger. And using that file, it's hardened steel, so it'll it'll cut that, that there. Um, just really highly effective, worked really good. Um, and, uh, you know, just uh, one of those things that you never know. You see a wine bottle laying around, it looks like a piece of junk. Uh, in modern times, we're all about recycling or repurposing. Uh, this is definitely probably one of the r best repurposing things you can do with a, with a wine bottle. Um, and uh, so I really hope that you enjoyed uh, this video and learned something useful from it. Um, I know that a lot of people don't know this, uh, are going to see this and it's like, wow, that's, that's really amazing. As always, uh, the products used in the making of this video, um, if you're interested in, in the camera, whatever was used, um, will be in the description area underneath the video. Just click on the show more uh, uh, underneath the YouTube video. Boom, you'll see, it'll open up and you'll see the, uh, the descriptions and, and the product list there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please like subscribe and comment and if you do subscribe um, remember to tick the bell button over in the, the subscription there's a little little bell there a little gold bell click on that um, that way you'll be notified when I upload new new videos um, until next time this is the jungle explorer signing out